For any student considering doing an undergraduate or postgraduate degree abroad in 2024 and 2025, the UK is a very attractive option. It offers a wide selection of globally recognized universities and degree programs. However, studying in the UK doesn't come cheap and not many students can afford it. In this video, we're going to go through six scholarships that are available for international students in the UK. Students who are from the EU cannot apply for most of the scholarships that will be mentioned in this video, but we do have other upcoming videos where you will be able to view scholarships that you're eligible for. Without further ado, let's get into our video. The first scholarship that you're going to go through today are the Chevening Scholarships. This video would obviously not be complete without going through these most popular scholarships from the UK. So Chevening is the UK government's international scholarships program. It is funded by the Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office and partner organizations. They offer awards to international students to study in the UK for one year on a fully funded master's degree course. The perks for this degree include full tuition fees, a monthly stipend, travel costs, arrival allowance, homeward departure allowance, I've never heard of that one, one visa application and a travel grant to attend Chevening events in the UK. Looking at this scholarship is definitely one of the most comprehensive because it is a fully funded scholarship. It covers a lot of the essentials that a student would need when they're actually going through their university degree. The exact opening date has not been confirmed but it is definitely in August of 2023 and the deadline as well has not yet been confirmed but it is usually within the month of November so make sure that you stay on their website. The link is in the description box so that you can see when their opening and closing dates are. So what are the basic requirements for this scholarship? The basic requirements are that you need to be a citizen of a Chevening eligible country or territory and you can see the list right here on their website. You need to obviously submit your transcripts and certificates. You need two reference letters and of course you need one unconditional UK university offer. So you must have applied to a UK university and you must already have been admitted to the university without any special conditions. You need to have at least two years of work experience and like most scholarships you need to return to your home country or your country of citizenship for a minimum of two years or once you've completed your degree. On their website as you can see they specifically mention that you're not supposed to pay agents. That's a warning because of a lot of scams that are going on out there. Apply directly on the university website or apply directly on the scholarship website for any scholarship that you're interested in and try as much as possible to avoid working with agents. The second scholarship that you're going to take a look at are the Marshall Scholarships. So the Marshall Scholarships finance young Americans of high academic ability to study for a degree in the UK. These scholarships are provided for a period of two years at any university in the UK. So at least 50 scholarships are awarded each year to students who want to pursue their first degree in any subject except for medicine, dentistry, veterinary science, and law. So to qualify for this scholarship, the degree that you want to pursue must not be more than 15 months if it's a master's, and it also must not be more than 28 months. So it has to be one of those either one year master's degree or a 24 month, which is two years master's degree. And then of course, they're also supporting undergraduate degrees, as I've mentioned before. So the perks include full tuition fees, books, travel, and living stipend. So for this, in my opinion, is actually a fully funded scholarship, which is covering two important things, which are tuition and living expenses. And if you really want to think about it, travel can also be a beast when it comes to cost. So this is actually a good scholarship to consider. As I've mentioned before, this is only open to U.S. citizens and you need to hold a cumulative GPA of no less than 3.7. You also need to be graduating seniors or have graduated within the past two years. You need to submit your transcripts and certificates, two letters of recommendation. You need to complete an online form on their website and then submit it through their system. You need to have a letter of endorsement from your institution institution and then you need to present a first and second choice of plan of study. So that would be for example one two-year program or a two one-year program which you're going to have to go through and these will be taken back to back at the same time or at different universities. So the opening date as well has not yet been confirmed but it's usually within the month of July so you can expect that this year and the deadline as well has not yet been mentioned the specific date but it's typically within the month of September on an annual basis. So please go on their website once again the link is in the description box so that you can take a look at when their opening and closing dates are. 
The third scholarship is the Global Future Scholarship from the University of Manchester. So the University of Manchester is offering more than £2.9 million worth of scholarships to international students who wish to study at the university from September of this year. This scholarship is open to both undergraduate and master's students holding an offer from the university itself. And then the evaluation is based on academic merit and the quality of your scholarship application. So for this particular scholarship, you can apply for most of the programs that they have on their website and you can just go through the university catalog to just to see in terms of their curriculum what exactly they have on offer. So the perks of this scholarship are that you'll get a minimum of £5,000 for undergraduate and between £8,000 and £15,000 for a master's degree. So they have different opening dates and these are based on your region. So if you go on their website as you can see here, you'll be able to check on your country when the opening date are. So each and every region will have its own opening date and closing date for the scholarship application period. So the basic requirements are that you need to be citizens of the listed countries on their website. So you need to be a citizen of Bangladesh, Botswana, Egypt, Ghana, Hong Kong, India, Indonesia, Kenya, Malaysia, Nigeria, Pakistan, Singapore, South Africa, Sri Lanka, Taiwan, Tanzania, Thailand, UAE, the United States, Vietnam, and Zimbabwe. For you to qualify, you must have been accepted for a degree that is studying at the university in the month of September of this year. And then of course, you need to submit an online application online on their website and your application will be self-funded. So you still need to apply using your own costs. The next scholarship on our list are the South Higher Scholarships. So the South Higher Scholarships are available to postgraduate master's students from Canada, China, including Hong Kong, India, Japan, Pakistan, and the USA. It actually covers degrees in science, technology, creative industries, healthcare, medical sciences, as well as renewable and clean energy. So the South Higher Scholarships are sponsored by the Scottish Government. So you can only apply to universities that are within Scotland. For those that don't know, the United Kingdom actually Actually includes four countries which is England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland and these then make up the United Kingdom. So like I mentioned before it's only for master's degrees and it has to be a one-year full-time degree not part-time. The perks include only £8,000 for tuition but looking at the fact that tuition is actually very expensive this is a very generous amount and this is a partially funded scholarship as they do not provide anything else such as travel, medical expenses, living expenses. It's only for for tuition and you get £8,000. So the basic requirements for this particular scholarship are that you need to obviously submit your transcripts and certificates. This goes without saying for all the different scholarships. You need to have an international equivalent of a UK first class or 2.1 honours degree at undergraduate level. You need to have been accepted at a university based in Scotland to study for a one-year full-time master's degree. So this is only for students that have never studied in Scotland and you want an opportunity to be able to study there. The opening date is on the 1st of September of this year and then the deadline is on the 30th of September so you have more than enough time to start preparing and getting ready for those applications. Number five on our list are the Commonwealth Master's Scholarship. A lot of people actually are aware of these ones. If you're not aware these scholarships are available to students from developing Commonwealth countries and they can apply for the Commonwealth Master's Scholarship to study in the UK. These scholarships are funded by the UK Department for International Development also known as the DFID. You can use this scholarship to study at any UK university, but it can only be for a master's one-year full-time degree. The perks include full tuition, travel, examination fees, living allowance, warm clothing allowance. I mean, I would appreciate that. I hear that the UK is very cold. You also get initial arrival allowance. For me, that's a boost. This will help you to settle in. You also get a thesis grant. That is if your master's degree requires you to submit a thesis. Then you also get a child allowance. Wow. So if you're divorced, widowed, or a single parent, you definitely get an opportunity to get child allowance. And these are definitely one of those scholarships that are highly competitive simply because of the generosity that is associated with this particular scholarship. It's very comprehensive. So you get an opportunity to save on a lot of costs and you get to travel with your family if you are either widowed, 
divorce or a single parent. Applications are already open, so please apply now. The deadline is in a couple of weeks, which is the 24th of May. So I'd get right on it if you haven't applied, or at least start using this information to prepare for applications early next year. So the basic requirements are that you need to be citizens from eligible low and middle income Commonwealth countries. You need to apply to one of the listed nominating agencies, as well as the CSC, which is the Commonwealth Scholarship Commission in the UK. So if you'd like to apply, you need to check with the nominating agency for your specific country. And then you also need to also check for specific advice and rules for applying based on your own eligibility criteria. Nominating agencies may set their own closing date for application, so you need to be very careful in terms of being able to check for with your nominating agency when their own open date and deadline are. You need to be unable to afford to study in the UK without the scholarship, so they definitely do a check just to make sure that you're not trying to take advantage of the scholarship, and you'll need at least three references. So last on our list are the Glenmore Postgraduate Scholarships. These are from the University of Edinburgh. And the University of Edinburgh is offering three scholarships for the postgraduate master's program offered by their university for the season 2023 to 2024. These scholarships will be awarded to applicants who are accepted for admission in the 2023 to 2024 academic year on one of the listed eligible human medical programs. And they've also mentioned on their website that they would prefer students who are from Africa but mostly everyone is able to apply. So the perks include full tuition. So in my opinion, I'll still consider this as a fully funded scholarship because the most expensive thing to tick off when you're going to school is after all tuition. Applications are actually open now and the deadline is on the 1st of June, which is in a couple of weeks. If you're watching this video within the month of May and citizens from preferably African countries should apply as I've mentioned before. And then you need to have been accepted for a chosen degree in the field of human health that is dentistry clinical microbiology public health those type of degrees priority will be given to those who have not had the opportunity to study at a master's level before and then you need to have an overseas equivalent of a UK first class honours degree. And then you need to write a personal statement of a maximum of 3,500 characters as part of your motivation. And of course, you need to submit your transcripts and your certificates. This will always go without saying. So I've come to the end of this video. I really hope that you found it to be super helpful and informative. Please share it with anyone that you believe might actually benefit from this. If you like this type of videos, do hit the like button and make sure that you also subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss out on any new content. And I guess that's it. I'll see you on the next one. All the best with your applications in this coming year. Goodbye.